Hi. Hi, it's Ursula from Ursula-Smith.com and today I'm just here with a quick tip. So this is just a plain gift bag. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got like a shiny coated finish. Um, and what I did was I stamped with Versamark and then I brought uh, gold mica powder over the top which sticks to the Versamark and I have a video somewhere on my site I'll link to it in the blog post um, to show you how to do that but this is a quick tip because if you notice right there <laughs> I got a little uh, fingerprint and I was wondering how I could go ahead and clean that up and I came up with this solution so this is just um, some plain rubbing alcohol so I'm gonna just spritz it onto a q-tip and the alcohol will clean off both the Versamark and the powder so you can get rid of that little oopsie and if I wanted I could go ahead and clean off some of the other ones as well um, but the, the other stray marks I didn't mind as much I just didn't like the uh, fingerprint and if you screw something up you can wipe the whole thing down and start all over um, but it does seem to stick pretty well on the coated surface and I'm not sure if the alcohol cleanup will work on like an uncoated uh, surface. Maybe I will give that a shot and put that in the um, blog post as well. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope you find this tip useful and we'll see you next time. So I decided to try it. Um, so this was a stamped with the Versamark and um, mica powder on plain cardstock, and that's just Versamark. So I'm just using a paper towel spritzed with alcohol. This one was left overnight. This one I just stamped. Um, and so I'm giving it a shot, and when it dries, I will be back. And I'm back. So I just wanted to show you, this is the um, cut plain card stock, uncoated, where I tried to use the alcohol to wipe off the Versamark and Versamark with mica powder. So this was sitting overnight. Um, and you can still see the image. It might work if you were gonna stamp back over it. This is just the plain Versamark, which I did right away and missed a spot there but I feel like you could stamp over that and that would be fine. And then while I was off camera, I also did the Versamark and mica powder and then wiped it off right away as if I made a mistake. And that's not bad either. You can still see a little bit of discoloring, but again, if you were gonna stamp right back over it, probably would be fine. So anyway, it works best, this trick works best on the coated slicker paper um, especially if it's going to be left overnight, um, but might be able to get away in a pinch on uncoated paper, uh, especially if you do it right away. So once again, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.